so today we are doing some fluid physics and we're gonna check out well how does fluid work anymore right does anybody even know all right let's get into it great so yeah as many people know in the previous factorio fluids worked quite a bit differently actually than they do now and they're much simpler now and, and frankly more fun but i wanted to test this out and also just be able to illustrate that for people who may not know so for what i've set up here is just simple little clock circuit here i can set how long i want it to run for and that will activate this pump so for right now i can switch this on and activate this for exactly 600 ticks or 10 seconds and then here this is just to empty it out so when i'm done filling this up i will flick this on and it will go until it's empty so we'll be able to use this to kind of gauge how much fluid is going through per second so right now i've also got it set up here as just a an offshore pump which has 1200 per second pumping speed and then we also have about 5.4k in the pipe itself which will be important in a moment but for now i want to just check this out because we have one pump here with 1200 per second so if we flip this on for 10 seconds well we should get right around 12,000 fluid in the tank so let's do it like it subscribe okie dokie great so that's exactly what we got we got 11,968 oh nice ish uh but yeah so that just goes to show that it doesn't really matter how long the pipe is anymore and i also noticed that it is the pipe length or the fur the the distance from the source of the liquid because if i went say halfway or even this far and then i circled the pipe back on itself kind of like this and came back to the same exact area it doesn't change the length of the pipe right like if i hover over this now it's still 277 but if i just go a little bit further out from the space that we started in there, which I'll, I guess I'll have to go up here just for an example. If I go out this way and boom, there we go, we've hit red. And now we can no longer pump from this at all, I think actually. So uh, first of all, this is off. Let me just, uh, well, we could, we could just try and pump on, right? So it's actually not pumping at all because this entire pipeline is overextended. If I disconnect this, then it will start to pipe, pump. So that was pretty interesting that uh, I kind of read that, but I didn't really realize it until I did this, which is that if you cycle, it's not just the pipe length itself, it's the distance from the source. So that could be like at a diagonal, uh, that could be at a straight line, but it has to be further away. If we cycle back, it doesn't count as, as length, right? Anyways, so that was uh, pretty interesting. Let me just uh, dump this fluid and we'll do a few more tests here to see how fluids work. Okay, so this is another test I wanted to try out. So we've got the five pumps here and we've got the one pump here. And again, it shouldn't really matter how long the pipe is at all. But the one thing I think we're gonna find out is that the fluid in the pipe actually matters. So let's just take note of the fact that we have 6,200 fluid in here. And let's flip this on for actually 30 seconds. And let's see if we can get some kind of scientific results here. All right. That was zeroed already. I believe I actually didn't look, but I know I, I did dump it. So I'll have to just check in editing. All right, so this will go up to 1800, which will be 30 seconds. Okay, and it stopped at 41,760. 41, so my thought would be that you, you have the bottleneck of how much fluid can be pumped in, plus we had 6,200. So if we were thinking about that as um, 30 seconds, let's pull up a calculator for this. If we had 30 seconds times 1,200, plus the 6,200 that we had, we would have 42,200. 
Ah, so that actually makes just about perfect sense, right? Because we had 6,200 in the, in the pipe itself, we were able to max that out really quickly with these five pipes basically doing 6,200 uh, almost in, in a second. But then from there, you weren't, we weren't able to get any more throughput than the 1200 per second there. So then we ended up after 30 seconds, basically on point with this number, right? Like 42,200 and we hit 41,760. So that is pretty cool, pretty interesting. So I think that's something to consider that the pipe contents can be, well, consideration at least but realistically if we if we then just add more pumps like now we could add five pumps okay and then so that five pumps on that side matching five pumps on this side i think we should get well we should really just get five times 1200 times 30 so we should get 180,000 fluid, I think pretty much exactly. I don't think that we should, the contents of the pipe should matter right now, but let's first dump this. Okay, and this shuts off automatically, like I said. So there we go, that's pretty cool. So at 30 seconds, let's flick this on and let's see what we can hit. Oh, would you look at that? Dang, that's close. That's really cool. Yeah, and I got a little thing over here. I'll have some blueprints for the display and this type of display in the comments. Because, uh, yeah, I, I just displayed them. This fullness display, just as a heads up pro tip, the max container, 100th max container capacity. So this entire thing with 25,000 each means that each four of these is 100,000. So this container maximum capacity is 400,000 400,000 right but then in order to actually get this thing to work you need to divide it by 100 so just taking away two zeros means that it's 4,000 and then if we connect to this this will show the same thing so if you want to use that just make sure that you're always dividing by 100 before you enter that value and then connect it and it'll work fine for you. But anyways, so yeah, you'll have a counter a blueprint in the, in the description as well, but that's really cool. So we found out like length doesn't really matter, but the pumps do, right? And so if we were to, for example, take this off and say we needed our pipe to go further. Okay, so just as an example, but then we also needed Hold on, let's see, this basically right there, I think is, is actually where we cut it. But then we needed to get five pumps worth of water, for example, over to yonder, right? So then what we could do is something like this, where we just have the pipes in parallel, and then we can reconnect that to our pipe system. And that way, like, the pipes are basically infinite throughput. It's the pumps that are the bottleneck. So, and, and the length of the pipe, right? So this will be able to get us the same amount of fluid as we had pumping here. So I think that's pretty much it. It was certainly a much more complicated system before. And I think that the revamp of the fluid system is really, really well received by the community. I personally like it a lot. I think it just makes it much simpler, much easier to understand. And that's it. If you have any questions in the com, leave them in the comments. And uh, well, thanks for watching. And well, that's but but bye for now. Okay, see ya. Like and subscribe.